Welcome back. Butte, Montana has uh, been through the ringer. <laughs> Yes, thanks to some evil spirits that have been haunting residents for years. But paranormal investigator and our friend Dave Schrader has had enough and he wants to put an end to that. But the spirits, they have a really, they kind of have a different plan. They're not really liking Dave's plan. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if something ruptured. Dude, oh my God, dude, lay down. Dude, lay down. Dude, oh, lay, lay on your back. Are you okay? Hold on. Stay still, stay still, stay still. Oh. Oh, f it hurts really bad. Okay, okay, okay. Just, okay, just stay still. Dave's down. Dave's down. What's wrong with Dave? It hurts. It goes all the way through to my back. It's killing me. Dave? I don't know what the f wrong. It hurts. It feels like something popped. We need a, we need a, uh, we need an we need ambulance. We need an ambulance. Yeah. We need an ambulance. The entire season now of the Ghost of Devil's Perch is available on Discovery Plus. I was telling Dave that Colin devoured it. I watched three and was freaked out. Please welcome Dave Schrader back to the show. Okay. You were here right before the premiere, and right. obviously we wanted people to watch, so you couldn't. We heard about that scene, but we couldn't really talk about it. What the H-E-L-L -L was that? Well, that's the reason why you don't eat Mexican food before an investigation. <laughs> it's uh, when those cramps hit, there's nothing. No, I, uh, we were in a place called the Cabbage Patch, which is this really interesting little section in Butte that they, they saved. And it was kind of a location where the displaced people would be and and there was a king of the cabbage patch there was a guy that ran it and literally his weapon Xavier of choice Roberts. yeah exactly <laughs> was <laughs> cabbage patch kid humor that's i dig it cabbage yeah. patch kid humor dave that's right yeah, that's okay. right um and he walked around with a uh, an axe handle and kind of ruled the, the the area um and there was a a young uh, african-american man by the name of richard sims who had fallen in love with the white preacher's daughter and they had this kind of illicit affair and when things got to the end uh, and he was still in love with her, she just decided the best thing to do was shoot him. Yeah, so uh, it was oh, yeah, horrifying. Well, that took a turn. Yeah, well, that was the whole thing. And what happened was during the investigation, we were in that, that little cabin right by where the shooting took place. And um, we believe what happened was I walked into something called a place memory. So this, this scar, the this psychic scar, and I'm not mediumistic, uh, I, I'm not sensitive that way, but it hit, and I, at first I literally thought like my appendix ruptured or something massive happened. And it put me, as you saw, put me to the ground immediately. And then it started piercing through to my back and I, was, I, I thought I was dying. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna die on camera. This is crazy, I'm gonna die on TV. And- uh, Really? Yeah, oh, that and was I'm not, it. I mean really, as in, I'm not doubting you, I'm like, I'm trying, and it was instant. Oh, boom. And because Cindy's talking and she's trying to engage and and get these spirits and Cindy Kaza is the medium that yeah. I work with on Holzer Files and now on Ghosts of Devil's Perch. And she was uh, trying to communicate and she was getting a lot of information. And then it was just like like a, a lightning bolt hit me and dropped me. Um, they brought in ambulances and police and everything and got me out and took me to the hospital. And like I told you last time, then the weirdness really started because everybody in the hospital started coming to tell me ghost stories. And I'm all splayed out in bed, laying yeah. with tubes and hoses. And I'm like, should we be talking about this? Am I dying? And they're like, no, no, you're fine. So anyway, we have a ghost on the third floor. And it was very weird. Um, they couldn't find a physical malady, which- I was just gonna ask, they didn't find anything? Nothing, and that made them even more um, weirded out, but that just like literally removed the, the lit off the genie's bottle and everybody came in to talk to me. So I'd like to say the, the uh, energy stopped with that, but if you watch the season finale. It did not. No. More with Dave when yeah. we come back, back in a moment. <laughs> How long did the pain? <laughs> Welcome back. One of our favorites, Dave Schrader's here. By the way, Little programming note, we'll actually have a continued conversation with Dave coming up on our Halloween show at Serums in Anoka on uh, this Friday on the 28th. So, because Anoka is real haunted and Dave has been there, so that's Friday, Friday. Anyway, uh, the Ghost of Devil's Perch is available right now. Uh, and Dave also has an event coming up this weekend at the Lexington. We'll get to all of that. But I, 
This town, Dave, out of all the seasons, the Holzer Files, this show, is this one of the most haunted and craziest things you've been a part of? Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, when we did Holzer Files, we, we shot 23 episodes, but we were all across the country and yeah. you're in one location. And when you're in Butte, the entire town is haunted and people are coming up to you and you should hear this. And I flew to Butte to go be there for the season finale a few weeks ago. And I, we had this big theater showing of the last episode. And it was just people had story after story after story to share with me. I think if we get a second season, I think we should go back to Butte to finish up. I think we... There's more stories. There are more stories. Well, we, we wrap up kind of the spirit that was leading us through these stories. Uh, they're... they're plight, if you will. Uh, <laughs> yeah. King of the callback, you're yeah, welcome. Thank you, and, thank uh, you. Uh, and so, but there are still other aspects. I mean, you got to remember this how this town had a couple hundred year history of just being built on blood and tear and sweat and, and a lot of booze and, and hookers. So there was just, yeah. you know, I mean, that was the two major industries, <laughs> prostitution and mining right in that town. And when things crossed, they got bloody and weird. So it was... Uh, booze and hookers was the original name of this show. Yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. Fox didn't like it. No. Let's talk about, uh, I mentioned uh, Anoka again Friday. Right. The Lexington in St. Paul mm -hmm. is another very haunted place. Tell the folks about your event this weekend. Well, I'm, I'm actually going to the Lexington tomorrow night to investigate along with some of my friends that are our investigators. We're bringing in a bunch of different equipment to check this out. And then uh, this Sunday night, we're gonna do a special event at the Lexington and you can come on out and have hors d'oeuvres and drinks. And I'll tell you the weird, creepy stories and share whatever evidence we're able to actually acquire from the Lexington. So I'm, I'm really excited to get out there. I, you know, I don't get a chance to locally go out and hit as many spots as I used to yeah because I'm on the road all yeah the time. you're busy but yeah so I'm I'm psyched about it and the people at the Lexington are very supportive and uh, loving about it and I have Colin to thank for introducing me to this so again yeah. send my love and thanks for that I yeah. will do so yeah that is I know uh, full disclosure I know a little bit about the Lexington I have had friends there and it is the stories it's not quite Butte Montana but it is it is for a space well the building's been there i mean it's several owners and, and been there forever yeah yeah when you run into and housed this... funerals for heaven's sake right right so you get into places like this that have this kind of history and i always say a haunting is like a book the back cover is the beginning of time the top cover is when everything ends and in between are all of the layers of history and stories and it's it's fun to do what I do because I get to be a, become a part of that story. Yeah, and hopefully give voice to these spirits that that are crying out and want to be heard and acknowledged. Do you uh, want to go back to Butte in our last minute here? Did you feel like the people in the town got any relief from your presence? You know what I mean by that? Yeah, uh, you know when we shot, it was actually really emotional in the final episode. I think I become the Pa Ingles of the paranormal. <laughs> You know, I, I get weepy every other episode on Little the show. Little spirit on the prairie. That's right. Yeah. And in the final episode, we, we went to the town party that they threw for us, and the, the mayor and the police chief thanked us, and why don't you come on up and say something? And I just looked out at this crowd of people that we'd helped that had, it, it was such an amazing community. I started getting choked up as we were talking, and they're so loving, and, and they love having us there and love the attention and the way that we're able to bring history to life and give words and, and, and voice to the spirits that have been forgotten. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all go watch this. Like I said, he mentioned Colin. This is Colin's jam. I get freaked out because I swear I do want you to come over sometime, not just because I want to get you dinner, but um, because I swear um, our mutual friend Dawn McLean, sure. house sits for me, and she said that my house, my condo's haunted, which is the last thing I needed to be told. <laughs> I mean, so, and then Colin, and then a couple nights ago, Colin goes, he goes, um, I didn't want to tell you this, but I think she's right. I've experienced things. And I'm like, why are you telling me this? So yeah. I think you should come to the condo. Wait, day. last time I was here, you said the last person you want at your door is me. Kind of, but I mean, now I'm just thinking maybe. Right, well. I'll put on a chicken, you'll look for some ghosts. Okay, so catch Dave Sunday, Sunday at the Lexington. For tickets, go to the LexMN.com and check out Dave's podcast, The Paranormal 60, wherever you get your podcasts, and go watch on Discovery Plus. Go to the app. Dave's usually in the carousel, and go watch. You will love it. You will love it. We're gonna, and again, Dave on Friday. More with Dave on Friday. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. Thank you, buddy. We'll tape like in nine minutes.